Yeah, I don't know. Personally, me, I've never had Dinty Moore's chicken and dumplings. You guys, hello, I hope you're well. Welcome back to Sean's First Time Eating. Today, once again, something that I've seen in the store many a time and never had. Earlier this year, I finally admitted how I didn't even know what Dinty Moore was up until real recently. <laughs> All right, Dinty Moore, dumb name. <laughs> it's so good. What the? That beef stew, odd, oddly good, oddly good. <laughs> so today we're gonna try something else from their line, a very popular thing, chicken dumpling. Who, who doesn't like chicken dumpling? Who doesn't, who doesn't enjoy? Chicken and dumplings. I know I do. I just don't know how it would be out of a can from Dinty Moore. This is a science show. This is basically the new Bill Nye. <laughs> That's not true. Grow the fuck up. We're gonna go ahead on this cold Chicago day. Mmm. <laughs> I think the uncanning is my favorite part. So you can see the dumplings. Looks pretty ridiculous. Can't believe this is a food, and I can't believe this is cooking. Is it? From a visual test, one to 10, I'm gonna go two. And I'm in a good mood today, so that's high. Oh, okay, let's turn that down. Oh wow, it kinda looks like when Lionel throws up. So that's cool. Like all bile, you know? Just a real bile bitch. Grow the fuck up. And a bunch of people just clicked off this video, and rightfully so, have some self-respect. I certainly don't. Let's get all that out of there because we paid for it. I said this recently in a video that when you cook soup or stews or whatever on the stove top, it just feels a little classier than microwaving it. Sometimes you don't have access to an open flame and that I understand. Flame on! And here's something you will wholeheartedly agree with. Dinty Moore's jingle, like their commercial, beautiful. Like I find myself singing it in my everyday life. Look at the beef and that gravy. This hearty meal is a real big deal. Dinty Moore is the beer of meals. I haven't looked at the nutrition facts on this. I'm just gonna assume it's way too much salt because there's no way they're gonna make a canned thing and have it taste bad. All you really gotta do is add a lot of salt. Okay, <laughs> so if you eat this entire thing, it is exactly 100% of your daily allotted salt. Like 28 grams of protein though, just vein ripping proteins. Kinda looks like apple pie filling. I'll tell you what, it doesn't smell like it. You want a little bit of this? It looks like dog bile, I have to be honest with my audience. Lionel got groomed today, and he looks like a puppy, and it's adorable. This is him on the car ride back today, looking just so skinny. When they shave that beard, he looks one. It's kind of an embarrassing fact that my dog grows a better beard than I do. Like, I can't grow that. Dinty Moore, owned by Hormel, been a company for more than 80 years in America, an affordable, complete meal for hardworking Americans. Why is he eating it then? I know. Dinty Moore, the stuff that legends are made of. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with the history of foods. It smells good, I mean chicken and dumplings, come on. My grandma was super Polish, and when she would make her dumpling soup, it was out of this world. Let's see if this brings back any sort of nostalgia. Nostalgia. Tomato. Tom Nobody cares, Sean. I think we're heated through. Turn off the heat. I wish it was a little thicker. <laughs> okay. Give some to Allie for some reason. She got way more dumplings and chicken. Do you want any oyster crackers? Got the oyster crackers. Probably end up using those. All right, what do we think visually? I think it went from a two now to about a four. <laughs> Which when I put in a little effort, that's what I end up being, from a two to a four. All right, let's get this apple pie filling. <laughs> Chicken and dumplings from Dinty Moore for the very first time in my life. If you've had it, drop a comment. If you hadn't had it, drop a comment as to why, and I probably know why, but write it anyways. <laughs> cheers. Why, who am I cheersing? Yeah. Oh. That's so nice. 
<laughs> it's like how eating Campbell's soup, it's so lame looking, but it's just the salt and the chicken flavor. It just flavor. As long as you're okay with like kind of the weirder texture of this, it's just, mm. it's so good. Like, it's obviously homemade would be way better, but this was a dollar. Change my eating habits after the new year, thank you. Ambulance. A little more crunch now with the, uh, the crackies. Mm-hmm. And I give half to Allie, so that'll help with my sodium. Mm. Chicken broth, white chicken, dumplings. Love that yeast extract. Oh yeah. Also, did you guys know that Hormel Foods is based in Austin, Minnesota? The redirect! Asking seriously though, what do you think of that? Because of this vlog, I never would have done these things. This year, I've learned about a lot of brands that I actually really dig. And I'm actually excited to have more Dinty More stuff. Or two for two. Oh my God, like the broth is so salty and like, Beefy potatoes, like what else they sell? I'm gonna go to my grocery website. Dinty Moore, enter. Beef stew, chicken and dumplings. Oh, that's it. Is that the only two things they sell? No way, really? Have I completed the lineup? Damn, is it? Oh, this Dinty Moore shirt is sick. Oh my God, is this really all there is? I was hoping for more stuff. Well, there's like a scalloped potatoes with ham cup, one of those instant ones. Is that a thing still? Damn, dude, I'm just gonna start. If you guys are looking for Christmas gifts for me. <laughs> Dinty more swag, dude. Those shirts are awesome. That's just gonna be my new brand that I tell people like, I'm gonna go to a potluck and just bring a bunch of Dinty more. Not even try to pass it off as my own. Just cracking cans in the kitchen. Sean, what'd you bring? I brought a bunch of Dinty more. It's amazing what fake chicken flavoring and salt will do. I like, thoroughly enjoyed this. What do you think, Al? Want some carrots in it? A little veggie. A little veggie in there? I can see that. Carrots would be nice in that. Guys, that's a win. I would prefer that over clam chowder from Campbell's. All right, well, Vanna Whited, sad it's over. We knocked off another one. Another one in the, you know, the interior part of the grocery store is all the processed stuff and you're supposed to like stick to the outside, you know, with all the fresh foods and everything. I personally think that the most fun stuff is in the aisles. <laughs> so if you've got any recommendations, donations, things like that, hit me with them. We'll try something else. I'm gonna keep this like winter streak going with these cans. You know, I had a bunch of that chili man chili in episodes, that was delicious. Mm. Dinty more chicken and dumplings up. Dinty more chicken and dumpling, d d d dumplings. Cool, I've developed a stutter. Down, be good to each other. Like, try.